Morning traders and this is your Aussie day trade setup for today. So yesterday we ended up with a pretty strong um, bullish bar and uh, it's actually fascinating to see how the patterns on the Dow and the DAX is pretty much mimicked on uh, on the Aussie. So right now I think you know, there's a lesson in price action firstly these two range bars here on the daily it doesn't matter what level you're talking about when you start seeing buyers come in with a pin bar, with another pin bar, and then you see range bars like this, that's a fairly good indication that people are scaling in uh, for a move to the upside, and a pretty violent move at the moment. So one thing that's concerning me is the oscillators right now. It's starting to, to point to a, um, a potential reversal. Uh, not yet, but it's starting to warn me that I need to be looking for levels. And the level that I can see straight away, well, there are basically two, First one is that fractional, and the second one is that gap. Okay, so if we come down to the lower time frames, you'll start seeing what I'm talking about. Okay, the next thing here is we had this range breakout here, and that was our first target, which we haven't quite got yet. It's sort of in the middle of nowhere. Okay, uh, there's still some upside, I would assume. Um, and then the next thing is we've got this gap and the structure, and then we've got another gap just above that. Up there. Okay, uh, then we have this little head and shoulders as well. So if I take this level here and I move it up, here's my shoulder, here's my head. Here's my shoulder and we've had a close above it okay so that in itself is fairly bullish but i suspect and we'll look on the ichimoku now but i suspect somewhere around here is where the bears are going to come back in again and uh, have another attempt to drive this down remember the reverses are rare so um, what we have at the moment is pretty much a v reversal and um, so i could argue that that was two attempts down but in my books, that's a view reversal. I want to see another pullback and uh, maybe a double bottom or a higher low here and then moving up. But this strong down, strong up uh, never bodes well for me. Okay, so looking at the hour, you can see the oscillators here are all grouped in a fairly, uh, well, not fairly, a very overbought scenario. Uh, wouldn't surprise me to see us just come back to the 200 EMA on the hour, build a bit of a base, and then move up to go and close that gap. Um, oops, that's not what we wanted to do. What we want to do is just take that, and that is a good almost 3,000 point trade to the upside. Okay, so. It's kind of the picture that I, I have at the moment, and uh, I think that's the way we're going to play. The trend is strong on the hour. If you look at this, it's really strong. It's really strong on the three hour as well. So there's no real reason to start getting worried. Uh, not until we start seeing this kind of price action here, up and below the, the moving averages. So at this stage, it's trend is up, but everything's warning me that I need to be looking for a level. And I think the most logical level is this gap. So if we just shoot down to the Chimuku, and I don't really want to pay attention to anything else except the three hour sorry the four hour so firstly i have a, a bullish um chicken span here i've got a bullish cross of kijason and tegenson okay my cloud is not twisted yet so that's negative i have closed out of the cloud it's not surprising but i'd want to see a pullback now then a twist and then a move to the next level and what you do have here as well is you've got a 200 ema just on the top there and you've got that there oh, that's kind of the zone that i'll be aiming for but don't want to take it right now I want to see some structure with a bit of a pullback then some structure building and then an opportunity to get in but i mean everything is green at the moment so uh, i would be going with a trend and the trend is up okay the important thing here is look where trigger span is on the daily okay that's the first thing but this is my warning here okay so the daily is still in a downward trend and I suspect yeah, 
but we've still got this trend line to contend with as well. So don't be too surprised to see us hit that and then pull back and then move up as well. And if I do that on the hour. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of uh, my view at the moment. So what we're looking for is to carry on with the trend. Trend is up. Although at the moment, the futures market is down. If we look at uh, 10 cent, 10 cent is only up half a percent. US futures is down uh, 1% at the moment. And rent dollar 17.39, that's slightly stronger. And the last thing that we want to just look at is to see what the Hang Seng is doing. And the Hang Seng is up uh, almost 2% right now. And the US markets were up like 6% yesterday. So I think what you're going to end up with is a bit of a, probably a flat start if anything to go by. And then a continuation of this trend to the upside. But what you want to be doing is watch out for your levels and draw them in. Yeah. For me, actually targeting these two fractals here rather than the gap is probably the one that I'd look at because what you're going to get a little hit there pull back and then have another attempt at um, at the gap. So if you take profit there, move back, get back in for a long, take profit at the gap, let it pull back, get back in for a long, and then it should move on to the next level, which will be this one up here. Okay, so that's kind of uh, my plan today. I hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.